Y'all, I have my phone sitting at the weirdest angle. Like, I wish you could see how I have my phone propped on like my steering wheel. It's literally a prayer that it's staying, but we're gonna rock with it. One thing I wanted to talk about was making friends and connections during not being able to go anywhere during COVID basically. I really want to just share a message that's been on my heart and I've said it before, I'll say it again, is focus on the things that fill you. Um, specifically focus on the things that are filling you during this time and what you need and not only focusing on them but don't feel like you have to apologize or don't feel guilty for being able to do the things or doing the things or finding things or alternatives of things that help fill you during the season especially if you're a social person by nature because I think you know one thing I, I've said a couple times is social people true extroverts are having a hard time doing this especially that it's lasting so long and if you're an extrovert and you aren't having a hard time I kind of question if you're truly an extrovert um, but for me loving to meet new like I love meeting new people I love discovering new people and their stories like that process of meeting someone new is so fascinating to me um and so not being able to do it in the way I'm used to doing it really impacted me like in ways that I didn't really understand I think even now I'm still unpacking more ways to do that and so that's why I wanted to share with you kind of how to make friends <laughs> during this time building friendships um, and really finding ways to genuinely connect with people. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is really using apps to do so. I downloaded this app and y'all have heard me talk about it before. Bumble has like a friend version of it. I mean, it also has a networking version, so it's not just a dating app. I'm a huge fan of Bumble just because the user interface is really nice and it's very, I don't know if it was made by women, but it's very like, female friendly if that makes sense it's a female friendly app so I use it to meet other like-minded women in the city because I'm when I moved to Austin I literally did not know anyone I was starting my whole social circle from scratch which wasn't like scary to me I was actually very excited to do so using uh, friend meeting apps for example like Bumble like I mentioned and being authentic about who you are during those apps I have a whole video that I made on tips to really attract the kind of people and the kind of friends you're wanting to find and I have been using it for a year I still use it I've been here for a year now and it's really cool the kind of people that I've met from that app and so for me I'm a very ambitious driven young career black woman wanting to like become friends with other young ambitious driven women as well and so being honest about that and sharing that on my profile obviously I did it in like a nice way but like and looking for that in other people and other uh, profiles that come across has really helped me make some valuable connections but if I was just on the app saying you know I'm new to the city just want to meet anyone whatever whatever then who knows who knows what would have happened but I would have had a harder time or would have went through starting conversations with way more people than usual another thing I want to talk about during the season on creating just having conversations with people and having you know making meaningful connections i heard this quote once and it said half of the world is waiting for the other half to say hello and that is something i want to harp on like it is okay i know we live in a world where people don't trust others and with covid everyone's like all like heightened in their distrust and whatever and next an election year so people are super polarized all these things but like literally I want to challenge you to say hello to someone first. Half of the world is waiting for the other half to say hello. And I want you to be that half that says hello, especially if you are feeling like your social emotional tank. I don't know if that's a real thing, but I'm, it's a thing I'm using for the sake of this, this message I'm sharing. Um, and not just start conversations with others, but find ways to add value to them. Even if it's just something small as, uh, just encouraging them and whatever that they're doing. Another thing I want to talk about <sighs> Using social media in a productive Healthy way and I created an entire freebie on this because here's the deal Since we're at home more we have less time that we're spending in the car or traveling back and forth, whatever, whatever We're on social media way more. We're consuming podcasts more. We're listening to things more We have all this content fighting for our attention and it can become really overwhelming 
and layer on top of that, you know, it's negative media and layer on top of that, it's, you know, black people dying um, and us see, literally witnessing murder, like layer all these things on top of that. If you are a black person, 2020, I just want to hug you literally because this has probably <laughs> like, I was just joking the other day. I feel like black people should get a pass to just go straight to 2021. Like we shouldn't have to live <laughs> through the last four months of this year. It's a lot to process. I don't even like for us as a collective community, um, it has been rough and um, I just want to hug you. <laughs> I really do. I just want to we can get through this um we will get through this social media for a lot of people has become this very unhealthy uh thing and that's why i created this guide to give people practical tips on how to use social media in a productive way because if you use social media in a consumption way which is how most people do it where you're on you're reading you're looking at likes you're looking at comments you're looking at what people are saying about this person the kind of things that they're posting excuse me it you can very easily become overwhelmed and not even want to get on social media at all but i teach people how to start seeing social media in a different way as a productive tool and when you kind of switch your, your perspective then praise god then you can start to have productive productive meaningful conversations and connections with people on social media um and not feel so inundated and bombarded and just emotionally hijacked social media is another great way to create quality connections if your social emotional tank is feeling low start finding people on social media like looking at the hashtags that you love the hashtags that you follow start finding new accounts and people on social media who you truly feel like connect and get you and these can be people these could be businesses whatever brands out there whatever but Start engaging with accounts that you feel truly get you because that helps you feel connected to something bigger than you and reminds you that you are not alone in how you are feeling because it, you can very easily feel like you're alone when so many different things are going on in this world. Anyways, those are three chunks of things that I wanted to share with you all on how to create meaningful genuine uh, connections with people how to build relationships during this time if you're feeling like your social emotional tank is low i really hope that this gives you some practical things to do to start building that up because when we're not operating on our best when our tanks are just low in general we kind of get into this survival mode and it's just it can become like this rabbit hole of just unhealthy thoughts and actions and things of that nature and for me I found myself slipping into that a couple times just this summer alone um but when I did things that I literally talked about in this video it helped like literally like cut the chain of just going down this hole of suck I hope this video is helpful for you if this helped you share it with someone you know who you think might also have a really low social emotional tank and might be going through it and just really needs reinforcement that they are not alone and what they're going through how they're feeling and what they're thinking so anyways that is all that i have for you make sure you like this video you share this video let me know if you have any questions comment below if you can relate to this video for sure um so i know that i am not alone <laughs> but um yeah i look forward to sharing more content with you